Number one, complete the changes in concentrations for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction over here. So we have calcium carbonate, which is CaCO3, that's a solid, and that will break down into, it will yield into the calcium ion, Ca2+, plus, aqueous, plus the carbonate ion, which is always CO3, 2 minus. Now in this question, they already told us that the, cal the, not the calcium, the carbonate ion is going to change by a variable x. Now, the thing is, if carbonate is going to change by X amount, what is the calcium going to change by? Is this going to change by X? Is this going to change by 2X, 3X? What is it? Well, these are always determined by the mole ratio. And the mole ratio is always the big numbers in the front of a balanced equation, right? So I'm looking in front of the calcium, 2 plus, and in front of the carbonate. Now, for both of these, I don't see any number, which means that they're both 1, right? There's 1 Ca2 plus for every 1 carbonate, right? CO3, 2 minus. So if it's a 1 to 1 reaction, right, or a 1 to 1 mole ratio, that's why this 1 is just 1x. And remember, if you have 1 of something for a variable, you don't have to put the 1 in front it's the same idea here. So this would be 1x, but since it's 1, you could just get rid of the 1 and just put that this will also change by x, meaning that they will both change by the same amount because they have the same ratio. They have the same coefficient in the front. And that's the answer for this one. So hopefully this helps. We got a couple of more uh, in this uh, number, number 1. So hang tight. If you guys are on the playlist, I highly recommend you are. Then we could do the whole chapter together. So subscribe if you would like to in the meantime to help us out. And I will see you in a little bit. Okay, bye-bye.